Hello everyone. People have been studying the planet for centuries and seem to have figured out almost everything. Yeah, there are still unexplored places at the bottom of the oceans, but mankind's already been into space. So our own planet can't surprise us anymore, right? Right? And yet, sometimes nature fails. Sometimes it happens because of humans, while sometimes the causes of various anomalies simply can't be explained even after years of research. That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get it on. Big Lonely Doug the southern part of Vancouver Island in British Columbia is perfect for growing trees. It rains a lot and the climate is mild, well, at least for Canada, so it's not surprising that some of the tallest trees in the world grow here. The most famous of them are located in the Avatar Grove, a small protected area. But if you're in the area, you can also visit the Big Lonely Dug, a huge Douglas fir that stands alone in this place. The Big Lonely Dug has become the symbol of the protection of the antique forests of British Columbia. This tall fir stands alone in the middle of a completely cut out space and looks like a real giant, 66 meters tall, 4 meters wide, and almost 12 meters in circumference. Back in 2012, a logger working in the area decided to spare the big lonely duck. Why? Well, nobody knows. Perhaps he felt something. But he probably didn't even suspect that it was the second largest tree of its kind in the world. Today, the Big Lonely Dug is under protection, and its visitors are advised not to stand next to it for too long so as to not to damage the roots. After all, this tree is not only very tall, but also incredibly old. According to scientists, it's at least 500 years old. Stone Well once upon a time, what happened in this place was considered the work of the sorceress Mother Shipton. She was an English soothsayer and prophetess who supposedly made a lot of unusually accurate predictions, including the Great Plague of London, the Spanish Armada invasion, and the Great Fire of London. Legend has it that Mother Shipton was born in Knaresborough in Yorkshire, in a cave now known as Mother Shipton's Cave. Next to the cave, there's a well that was once thought to be cursed. No wonder, because everything that got into its water turned into stone. It's just like Medusa and other characters that turn their enemies into stone. Visitors have been coming to the cave since 1630, so it's not surprising that this place is considered the oldest tourist attraction in England. However, scientists have found out that there is no mysticism in the weird properties of the spring. The water, which can turn things into stone like teddy bears, hats, and other random objects in a few months, is very rich in minerals. Combine this with a natural process of evaporation, and you've got yourself a creepy legend. Bialbero di Casorzo Between the cities of Grana and Casorzo in Piedmont, Italy, there is a unique tree, or rather two trees, one growing on top of the other. The locals refer to this natural anomaly as the Bialbero di Casorzo, or the double tree of Casorzo. It consists of a cherry tree growing right on top of a mulberry tree. Plants that choose other plants as their habitat are known as epiphytes, and this is not a rare phenomenon, but they usually reach a small size and have a short lifespan because they lack nutrients and space for growth. And in general, cherry trees don't usually behave like like this. Apparently, once upon a time, a cherry seed ended up on top of the mulberry tree, probably with the help of some random bird. Then, this seed somehow managed to germinate not only in an incredible way, but also to get its roots to the ground through the hollow trunk of its downstairs neighbor. As a result, the cherry tree on top not only survived, but also grew to quite a decent size, like a regular tree. The two trees have merged to form a single structure now, with branches sprawling around five meters, and the the result is an amazing sight. Electric Bray of all the fundamental things in our world, gravity seems to be the most reliable, right? There's no way to deceive gravity, even if you try really hard. And if you try, you will probably end up with lots of bruises. But there are places in the world where the great and heartless gravity doesn't work as it should. For example, the so-called Gravity Hill in Scotland. You don't have to make any effort to climb it, for example on a bicycle, but while descending, it will require you to pedal. Let's just say it has nothing to do with electricity. That's all, really. The term electric has remained from the time when faulty gravity was mistakenly considered a phenomenon caused by electrical or magnetic attraction inside the hill. But then what 
perhaps is the secret. It is widely believed that these mysterious magnetic forces move vehicles around, or on the contrary, prevent them from moving. But it seems that the slope of the road is just an optical illusion. Due to the peculiarities of the landscape, it seems that, despite gravity, objects go up the hillside, although in fact it's just the opposite. By the way, there are more than a hundred gravity hills in the world, and each of them is just an illusion. The Atacama Desert the Atacama Desert, located in South America, is considered one of the driest places in the world. Even in the polar deserts, there's more rain than in the Atacama. On average, only 15 millimeters of rain a year. That's almost nothing. In addition, the Atacama Desert is probably the oldest desert on Earth, and for at least 3 million years, it's been experiencing extreme hyperaridity, making it the oldest and most continuously arid area on Earth. Most of the desert consists of rocky terrain, salt lakes and sand. It's a completely lifeless place at first glance, but that's only on the outside. Despite the geographical and climatic conditions of the desert, there's really rich flora here. Just imagine, more than 500 species of plants have been spotted within the Atacama Desert. All these species have an extraordinary ability to adapt to the extreme environment and survive. The flowering of the Atacama can be seen from August to September, but the exact dates are not known. Everything depends solely on the precipitation which isn't really that reliable in this place. But when the desert starts to bloom, it looks like a real miracle. Cenote Angelita Underwater, you can find all sorts of wonders. Remains of ancient cities, shipwrecks, unusual creatures, evidence of the existence of aliens. Well, if you have a rich imagination, of course. But also under the water, you can find a real river. Yeah, we're not joking. You just have to know where to look. The Cenote Angelita, located in Mexico near the city of Tulum, is a typical sinkhole, deep enough to dive in. It is a lake, which is actually a vertical well with its edges narrowing to the surface, on the bottom of which there is a submarine river, almost a real river with trees and leaves along the banks. But in fact, the strange anomaly is not a fully fledged river. It just has nowhere to flow. This effect is created by mixing salt and fresh water at a depth of 30 meters. As a result of the reaction, a thick layer of hydrogen sulfide has been formed, and it looks like a long underground river or a cloud that sunk to the bottom. The Eye this perfectly round lake with a perfectly round island inside was accidentally found by a helicopter pilot in the south of Argentina. Once again, there is a perfectly round floating island located in the middle of the lake. From the air, the strange formation looks like the eye of the planet, closely watching everything around. Yikes! There are no settlements nearby either, and the terrain itself is difficult to access and almost impassable, so the lake and the otherworldly eye were unknown until recently. Local residents, of course, knew, but preferred not to visit the Eye, and we understand them. The enthusiasts who nicknamed the island as the Eye claim that it floats and spins in the lake as well. The water around the island is clear and cold, and it's said that the old Google Maps images from 2003 already contains the island. There's no evidence that the Eye is man-made, though. Most likely, underwater gases make it float, but scientists have failed to find out why the island has a perfectly round shape. Ringing Rocks Usually, rocks look very boring. Of all the things on our planet, grey cobbles aren't the most interesting or exciting, especially now in the age of the internet. But what if stones could sing? Some stones are known as ringing rocks because they resonate like a bell. Many scientists have studied these singing stones, but nobody can understand why they behave like that. Until 1965, when geologist Richard Fass of Lafayette College took some stones to his laboratory for testing, he discovered that a series of sounds appears on frequencies lower than the human ear can hear when the stones are hit. The singing of the stones is only audible because these sounds interact with each other. Although Fass's experiment have explained the nature of sounds, we still don't know why some stones make sounds while the others are silent. This anomaly can be found in many different parts of the world. The only thing left to do is to listen. Al-Nasla Rock 
yes, there are many natural phenomena that can puzzle any traveler. But we would like to finish today's video with the Al Nasla Rock, located in Saudi Arabia. This huge piece of rock is probably one of the most photogenic in the world, all because of the perfectly vertical gap between the two parts of the rock. Many people who've seen it believe that this could only be made by humans, or maybe by some other intelligent creature. The idea is really fascinating. According to scientific research, the area near Al Nasla was inhabited more than a thousand years ago. Petroglyphs can even be found in some parts of the stone. Once upon a time, trade routes passed by the huge stone, and the place was crowded. But today, it's mainly archaeologists who visit this place. But what made Al Nasla split up in such a perfect manner? Thousands of years ago, people didn't have lasers. Well, according to scientists, it goes like this. Because of the changes in the depths of the planet, the ground under the stone moved a little bit, and the stone at the time stood on two supports, just like today. As a result, the rock split into two. Or maybe the underground movement expanded the already existing crack in the heterogeneous mass of the rock. But why is the rift so perfect? Alas, this remains a mystery. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 